guys, what's up? Welcome so to this Duke pandemic Online. has obviously caused many of us to have to stay of course at we have home. Our church online. It's on Sunday morning. It's interesting circumstances. Um, how we are meeting, what we are meeting on the last. It's a little bit different than our normal youth day, obviously. What can't be canceled. What's up, everybody? It's Ross here, and this is part two of our series, We Are Youth. And uh, today we're talking about this idea that we are people of the Word. I love what the Bible says actually in Psalm uh, 1, verses 1 and 2, and then in Joshua 1, verse 8. It almost says the exact same thing when it's talking about the Word of God, the Bible. It actually says that you and I are to meditate on the Word of God day and night. We need the Word of God in our life. I don't know about you, but I'm somebody who loves bread. Sometimes the restaurants that I choose, it has nothing to do with what's on the menu, and it has everything to do with the bread that they bring out on the table before the meal is served. This right here, I'm telling you, is good bread. When I was in college, me and my friends, we used to actually go to Olive Garden all the time. And we wouldn't order anything on the menu. The only thing we would go there for were, were those bread sticks. I, I'm somebody who loves bread. And what's really cool about bread is that the Bible is often paralleled to bread. Jesus, in fact, when he's uh, telling us how to pray in Luke chapter 11, he says, give us this day our daily bread, meaning that you and I need the Word of God in our lives on a daily basis. I want to give you a truth here that reading the Word of God is not a luxury. It is a necessity. You and I need the Word of God on a daily basis. I'll tell you this, when I don't eat, okay, if I miss a meal, I don't feel guilty about missing that meal. You know what I feel? I feel empty. I feel hungry. It's the same way when we don't read and meditate on the Word of God. I'll tell you that I don't necessarily feel guilty all the time when I miss out on reading the Word. What I feel is empty. What I feel is hungry. Why? Because I didn't get my daily bread. And sometimes, if we're honest, I believe we can get so caught up in feeding ourselves things of this world that we don't need. Our own ego, popularity, searching after the things of this world like money and nice cars when we're able to get our license and we're trying to get all these things. Sometimes we consume ourselves with what we're watching on television. We're consuming ourselves with bad music, with bad things that we're watching on Netflix. And the truth is what we need to feed ourselves with on a daily basis, what we need to meditate on day and night is the bread, is the word of God. When you get this revelation that you need this daily bread, you cannot go a day without it. And so here's my weekly challenge to you and your group. What would it look like this week if you actually had your daily bread? What would it look like if every day you woke up and you read the Word of God, you meditated on the Word of God, and you thought about how does this apply to my life? What does this not only mean to me, but how can I live this out? Talk to your leader this week about how you can start a Bible reading plan. Talk to your leader this week about what they do, how they read the Word every single day, how they get their daily bread. If you want maybe just my opinion on things, I love the book of James. It's a great place to start. It's an easy book to understand. Maybe that's where you need to start today. Whatever it looks like, get your daily bread starting this week.